thank you. you I the, the, the few I met you, I think, uh, well, I know your faith is lifted up. I say your faith is. Yeah. I don't know. Happy. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. I, I, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Viewers at home, happy new year. Uh, well, I think we have so much, so much. Well, glory be to God. So you have uh, the message on your table. New beginning. So I think uh, you have it for friends. Have it for friends. Hallelujah. We still have some more that are waiting to share their testimony. Well, you help me appear to them. Because uh, those who are waiting also to, to give their testimony after the, after the prayer today also are crying. So please, uh, so you please let us move forward the testimony maybe after the service. I will want to listen to you so that you can receive mother of miracle again yeah. hallelujah yes words of wisdom i know you have many you have written you are putting in your jota so you need to go through over it over this well we have listened to the testimony and the prof vision from brothers and others so I think uh, maybe there are some of other two, one or two, that we still have to. I don't know. My coordinator, they, they, they are telling me there's a man that has been here for the past two months or whatever. Let's see what God has for us. Um, <clears throat> it's a pity faith is not imitation. Mm. I say... Faith is not imitation. So it's not something you can imitate. You cannot imitate it. You cannot, it, it, faith is not imitated. You cannot just look at your brother and say, hey, what this man is saying, this man is telling all that uh, she, 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 I mean, he, he brought one million dollar to the, in the presence of God for Thanksgiving. After that, the Lord bless him, and uh, it's now become uh, a multi-millionaire. So I want to do the same. No. Faith cannot be imitated. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yes, it will only just listen, and uh, because the Bible says faith arises according to the word of God arise in each person's heart in each person's heart are you with me it arises it arises in each world in each person's heart based on the word of God or according to the word of God that is faith for you because faith is of man's heart it's of man's heart. And this faith we are talking about every day, for your faith to be consistent, that is consistency, is what you are talking about. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And no one is uh, the same yesterday, today, and forever here. Who, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever? Huh? Even your business is not even the same yesterday, today, and forever. But God said, year of destiny. Hallelujah. So you, your brother, your uncle, whoever, whatever, is not the same yesterday, today, forever. Only Jesus. So this is why the Bible says, faith arises in each person's heart according or based on the word of God. And your faith, for your faith to be consistent, it must be based 
on something stable on something what more put it more not the word stable may not be mm, more stable more reliable more stronger more dependable are you are you with me for your faith to be consistent it must be based on something more stable more reliable more stronger more dependable can you see the word faith because jesus is the same yesterday to them forever it's going to say the same today many if not all let me say 90 percent if not 98 percent base their spiritual experiences on feeling you what you are going to receive from jesus will be according to what we are seeing today no 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 that is feeling people base their spiritual experiences on feeling so healing uh, i'm sick i'm sick i have leg pain after watching money tv and you have seen many leg pain that have been here you say oh i see somebody that have similar problem i have and the person was here i'm going to synagogue so i'm getting to synagogue while you are sitting down Somebody came out and said, Praise the Lord. You say, Hallelujah. You saw before, even the, his case is more worse than your own. And he says, say, Oh, God, I will be healed today. Oh. See, this man is here. It's not enough. Many base their spiritual experiences on feeling, emotion. That is what you see. I mean, what you hear. What your situation look like. If your situation is big. Uh, uh, you, have been, you have been to many places. You have spent so much. You say, Jesus must pity you. Now. You have gone all the way. This man that is given testimony has never been to many places. The sickness is just uh, last year. But I've been in this sickness for 20 years. I've spent fortune. I've done a prayer fast. Because of that, Jesus must hear me. No. I've paid tight. I came to church first. I've been coming to this church for the past two weeks now. Somebody who just come now, be here. Me, I've been here for the past two weeks. Jesus must hear me. No. Many base their spiritual experiences on what? Feeling. Feeling means what you see, hear, what your circumstances look like. No. Faith is not imitation, cannot be imitated. It must arise in each person's heart based on what? On the word of God. Today we pray Jesus name, Jesus name, Jesus name, but lack necessary faith to release the belief in our hearts. And some people will ask, what is the difference between belief and faith? Get confused. Today we pray, but lack necessary faith to release the belief in our hearts. It means you may believe that I will be healed, but lack the necessary faith to release that Believe in your heart. Uh, if I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. 
today your your heart may be yearning for that blessing I'm going to snuggle. I'm going to snuggle. I'm going to snuggle. Yes, yes. You fast pray. Fast pray. Say yes. Yes, I must be here today. Yes, yes. I believe. I believe. But lack the necessary faith to release what? The belief in your heart. Take note, necessary faith. So this is why last two weeks I compare, I try to compare faith to a heavenly currency a heavenly what a heavenly currency you know when you have bread i mean you have money and you want to buy what do you call it this is fun and get it to the market they say it's ten thousand naira but you have eight thousand naira but you are going to the market. And get it to the market, you meet the marketer, say, I want to buy this fan. They say, no, how much? 10,000, no, what of 9,000? No, 8,000, no, I say 10,000. Ah, please, I have 8,000, no, 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 I can't take 8,000. The fan is 10,000 naira. You will not be able to purchase that fan. And that does not mean you are poor. That does not mean you don't have money. You have money, but you don't have necessary war. You don't have the measure of money to do all. In the same way, listen to me. Don't, 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 don't base your improvement on your what? Don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. Tell your neighbor, don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. Tell your neighbor once again. I can't hear you. What I mean, what I'm saying is that uh, because you cannot purchase, purchase that fun, you say you don't have faith. You need blessing, you headache, you go hear me, hear me. And you are not here, does not mean you don't have faith. It may be you don't have the necessary faith to receive that healing. That does not mean you are not a Christian. That does not mean if you die at that moment, you will not go to heaven. That does not mean you are not a Christian. That does not mean. It may be you don't have necessary faith to get healing. Heavenly currency. Tell, tell your neighbor, faith is heavenly currency. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, it's heavily, I picture it in that way. It's heavily currency because when you have 10,000 to purchase this, you have 8,000 to purchase this, and it's 10,000. On getting to the market, you cannot purchase it because it's 10,000. You have to go back home and get more money to purchase that fund. So in the same day, you want healing from God, healing is a heavenly blessing. So you need a heavenly currency to get that healing. And if you ask God to give you healing, and you don't get that healing, maybe you don't have necessary faith to get that healing. That does not mean you don't have faith. That does not mean you are not a Christian. So don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. If you continue to base your faith on your improvement after prayer, devil will continue to deceive you. Devil will continue to deceive you. Before you know it, you become unbelievers. You begin to count the number of times your prayer is not answered. Hey, Look, oh, I go to church, I read Bible, look at, eh, I always in the church, this headache refuses to go. I fast and pray, look at that man, man is healed of headache, but me, I'm not healed. Look at that business, I won't break through, but the breakthrough is not yet come. Am I really a Christian? If I'm a Christian, why should my father not answer my prayer? Devil is talking now. And devil have a, a date now to say, look, look at you. 
If you are a child of God, why should God not answer your prayer? Come down here, I will answer your prayer. The devil will say, come to me, I will answer your prayer. You are labor, come, I will give you rest. He has his own rest. And this is what the devil uh, is using now to deceive Christians. Many Christians today, they base their faith on their improvement after prayer. To learn how to believe that God hears us when we pray is a much is a much greater blessing. Tell your neighbor to learn to learn how to believe that God hears us when we pray is a much greater blessing. I can hear you. It's greater than healing you are talking about. It's greater than deliverance you are talking about. It's greater than the breakthrough. But no matter how big breakthrough you have, you say, God, breakthrough, 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 and you receive that breakthrough. There's something that's greater than that breakthrough. To learn how to believe that God hears me. When I pray, oh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and I know if my prayer answer, or if God is not, it's not the right thing for God to give me. If I know that and I have that gift, it's finished. I will not waste my time. I will know the right time to meet my father. You know the reason why is the greater is the is much greater blessing because the prayer of faith can be repeated. Turn your Bible with me, Second Corinthians. The prayer of faith can be repeated. Now turn to Second Corinthians. Let's just use that as a just protest because of time. Second Corinthians 12, verse 8. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord till it time, and it might depart from me. I pleaded with God, I with God three times. Prayer of faith can be what? can be repeated ten times. But when you don't know that God, the voice, the, the Simon, whether God hear you or not, you only just pray. You will think that your prayer is no answer. And you will now begin to see God in a bad light. And devil will now enter you and begin to speak to you that look at you. If you are a child of God, why should you pray? Look at you for the past many years. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. You have been praying, 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 praying. No answer. The problem is getting worse. So you, you are not a Christian. That is the voice of the devil. Tell your neighbor, the prayer of faith can be repeated. I can hear you. I can hear you. Again and again. Can be repeated. You continue to say, look at Paul. Paul said, three times I pleaded with God. And yet, the Lord said, my grace is sufficient for you. The tongues, God refused, God did, did, did not remove that tongue. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. Three times. With prayer of faith. So, to learn how to believe that God hears you, that God hears her when we pray, is a much greater blessing. Because prayer of faith can be repeated. So you will know that, hey, it's God's opinion about what you are asking for. Even before you pray, you will know God's opinion. 
And when pray, you know God's opinion. You will not begin to look at God in a bad light because you don't answer to, uh, to your prayer. No. It may be to strengthen sometimes. It may be to strengthen your desire for him. You want to strengthen your desire when you ask. Mm. No, if I give you this, it may take you away from me. No, I want you to be strong before I give you. You continue to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray. But you must know to learn how to When we pray, it's much, much greater blessing. Much, much greater blessing. So don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Again and again. Again and again. Don't base your faith on your improvement. Yeah, you are a faith man. I'm a faith man. I'm a faith woman. So, only faith please God. Okay? If only faith please Him, Jesus, I need biscuit by faith. But if you are not received that biscuit, that does not mean you don't have faith. Sometimes it may be to strengthen your desire. It may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you. I call it words of wisdom. You take it home. There are many things you have to take home. One, I should not base my faith on my improvement after the outcome of my prayer. The outcome. Mm. Because if you base your faith on your improvement, somebody you brought to church, maybe you'll be very surprised somebody you brought to church. We should know that uh, you are the one who even counsel him to leave this, to leave that, to leave that cigarette, to leave this, to stop going to club. You keep counseling him. One week, suddenly the contract he has been looking for, the very day he entered the church, in Jesus' name, be blessed. They call him immediately. Hello, the contract is ready. And you that have been counseling him, bringing him, you have been pursuing the contract for good one year. Nobody call you. You will not say, ah, 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 somebody I brought to church. Hey, which kind of God is this? I'm the one who is concerned him. I'm the one who got to answer first. Before I answer this one, this one is not, a, maybe God does not know that he's not a Christian. <laughs> so you will not say, God, God, this man is not a Christian and you give him blessing. Withdraw the blessing. I am the, the real Christian now. Give me the blessing. Tell your neighbor, don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. I can hear you. Again and again. Again. If you do not, you will know the God you are serving. It's a cherished relationship most. It is our relationship we cherish. That he give this man billion breakthrough, and you that have been asking for long and you have not received, does not mean it's better than you in the, in the sight of God. It is relationship that matters. So I want to, I want to, let me just give a brother some two or three minutes. You take this wear. You have to, many, one or two wear now that this faith is not imitation and it cannot be imitated. And you must learn to learn how to walk. How to walk? Yes. To learn how to hear from God 
hear that God uh, hear us. That is it. Answer your prayer. What is God's opinion about this? Where we pray is a much greater blessing. But how many of us here today? How many? How many? How many here can boast of, yes, I used to hear from God. I know God's opinion before I pray. Before I would say, in the name of Jesus, I know whether God will give me or not. How many? That is it. That is the challenge we are facing. That is the challenge you are facing. You just do everything just like that. You just wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I'm going for that contract. I'm going to for that. Even your dream, you doubt it. When you dream that uh, they will give you that blessing, when you still wake up, you say, ah, when, when do I become pastor? When, I, when, when do I become prophet now? I, I dream, oh, and I saw myself being given the envelope. Well, let me go and see whether they will give me. All right, that has nullified That has nullified the whole thing. Let me just go and see. Because you believe that there are two personalities that talk to you. <laughs> I say many of you believe that there are two personalities that talk to you. Uh, <laughs> anytime you, you don't believe that there are two personalities. One instrument of faith and another one instrument of doubt. That is why instead of focus on your comforter, you rather focus on your battle. On your enemy, I mean. Instead of focus on your victory, you focus on your war. Battle. Instead of focus on your faith, you focus on doubt. Because there are these two personalities with weapon. One weapon of faith, another one weapon of doubt. So this is why we come out, the Lord say, come out with this. See. It's not an issue of, like I have said, I have said it all. Yes. 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 You should be able to hear from your spirit. Go. The spirit and the way acted at. You should be able to hear from your spirit. And not something in your pocket, but it become also your neckness. You can wear and go. When you are sitting inside your vehicle, you should be busy with your faith. In counting your faith. Because faith counts. And you know the state of your mind. I know the state of my mind. You have to begin to reset your belief. What you have learned, what you have read in the Bible, the, the word of God is the instrument that will lead you. So this will enable you to embrace the word of God as the most effective instrument for change. Amen. It will help you to do all, to embrace the word of God as the most effective instrument. So you sit inside the vehicle and your driver is driving 
you begin to hear music. <laughs> Sometimes motto will just from assault, will you and your musician. <laughs> you and your musician will some some assault together. Huh? And uh, the vehicle is going, the, immediately the motor is some assault, instead of chanting the, Jesus, you begin to say, hey, 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 hey. By the time maybe God just saved your life because he know that uh, the children are there. And save your life just like that, you now will stand up and say, ah, this kind God. Oh. <laughs> I never see your type. Oh. Hey, this kind God. Oh. Inside the bush. <laughs> Can you see you? And when the motor was from assault, you can't sing that song. When the motor was from assault, the name Jesus, you can't call it. Says and sees your mouth because you are not pregnant of that name. You are not embraced the name. This will help you, like I have said. If the word of God dominating your mouth, it will it must also dominate your heart. Tell your neighbor, if the word of God dominating your mouth, it also must dominate your heart. That it will dominate your heart. Take note. If the word of God dominating your mouth it will dominate in your heart what you <laughs> okay i'm going I'm, I'm just talking about the word of god <laughs> and the motto is about to say jesus because that is what i'm talking about it is what feed my mouth is what i'm out of this will reset your belief <laughs> if this is if the word dominating your heart, it will influence your conduct and your behaviors. If the word dominating your heart, it will influence your conduct and your behaviors. It is what dominating your heart that, that influences you. So this one, when you are inside the vehicle, this one will begin to talk. You can listen to music, but this one will go on in your heart. You know the state of your mind, like many hearts here. Ungodly thoughts. Ungodly what? What is going on in your heart is very bad. Uh, doubt. 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 Your heart is focused on, on your enemy. Instead of your what? Your, your what? Your comforter. Your heart is focused on your battle. How will I defeat it? How will I overcome now? How, how will this thing go away? How this trouble is too much for me? Oh, I don't know how to go about it. Instead of the heart to talk about war, victory. Jesus conquered the war and give us war. Victory. Give us victory. That victory is what your heart, your mind should talk about. And leave the battle for God. And the Lord said, He said, in the war, there will be war. Tribulation. But cheer up. I have war. So what are you supposed to talk about? Victory. But because you are not filled with the victory, your heart is not dominated. Your heart is not dominated. If your heart is not dominated with this word of God, you cannot be influenced. It, it, your character cannot be influenced. Your thought, the, the, oh my God. Look. So this is why we have this. Even to your little children, immediately you give back, give back to a child. And say, tan, tan. You should, okay, come. You, I will say your belief. That can, huh, 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 huh. Say, Jesus, Jesus. Immediately you come out from the blood. Hey, hey, hey. 
Mm. So, okay, Bafa, Bafim. After putting Bafim, okay? Your hand, you are welcome to this world. There's an economic crisis. Take, take care. <laughs> <laughs> so, to reset your belief, once again, we must embrace the word of God as the as as the most effective instrument for change. So, when you are inside the vehicle, like you are sitting down now, look at you only take pen and a book. It's not enough. Something must also arrest. If you can arrest your spirit, your life is in control. Amen. Your spirit dancing everywhere. Go to the market. Some people are here now. Their spirit is in the market. Their spirit is in the market. You hear now. By the time they touch them, say, hey, what are, what are that? What, what are you saying? I'm this. I'm in the market. Hey, but you are here. If the spirit is in the market. <laughs> and what is important in man is spirit. It's my spirit. What is important in you? It's your spirit. Every other thing is for the. So you have this. Why you are sitting down? Look at it. You are sitting down. As you are sitting down washing, you begin to be busy with what is disturbing your spirit. Yes, if you are free of everything ungodly thought is not in your spirit, you have something to meditate over. What is it? Jesus, take more of me and give me more of you. And more of what? More of your faithfulness. Give me more of your faithfulness. Give me more of your kindness. Give me more of your holiness. Give me, Lord. Holy Spirit, give me. While you are busy with it, you are, at the same time, you are washing. You, it will get to a certain point. You will be looking at me and say, God, reveal to me who is this man. And you are looking at me. Why you are looking at me and say, this man that is talking, can you please show me. Is celestial body. Show me this prophet. Because you are looking at Mr. T.B. Joshua. I don't think anybody see a prophet here. All of you are just looking at Mr. T.B. Joshua. No one can say, oh, this is prophet. You are not seeing prophet. You are only looking at Mr. T.B. Joshua. And you are here for prophet T.B. Joshua. But you cannot see that prophet. But your eyes, the eyes of your faith, is blind. Everyone has two natures in one person. Like I'm here, Mr. T.B. Joshua is here, Prophet T.B. Joshua is here. But you need to see if the eyes of your faith, because you cannot see enough until the eyes of your faith is opened. Tell your neighbor, you cannot see enough until the eyes of your faith is opened. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. How will you say enough? The only thing you see is appearance. The man talking. You cannot see enough. You will not see enough until the eyes of your faith opened. Look at what happened to the servant of Elisha. He could not see enough until his eyes of faith was opened by Elisha. Are you ready to open the eyes of your face? Yeah. So the eyes of your face is blind already. It's blind before. Elijah's servant could not see at all. One morning she awoke and went backyard and suddenly he saw, he saw the, the, the chariot soldier on the horses and all of that. On the hill, they surround them. And there are only two, himself and his boss. He ran down to the master and said, Master, what are we doing here? There are millions of soldiers around us already. How can we, what can two of us do here now? Elisha looked at him and said, Look, look at you. Because the eyes of your face is, is, is closed, is blind. You cannot see. If you see those who are with us, fighting for us, 
those who are with us supporting us, those who are with us surrounding us, are more three times than the people you are seeing over here. So, with this, you you begin to ask. It is by here we ask. When you begin, you are filled. You are filled. When doubt is coming in your heart, you can be able to stop it immediately because you have something going on. You have something going on. Oh my, my God. The doubt is going, it's coming, it's going, it's coming in your heart. You have something going on in your, in with, on the outside and you are connected with the inside. Begin to say, oh Lord. If it is ungodly thought, you begin to say, Lord, Lord, every ungodly thought, I want to, I want to talk about, I want to focus on my, 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 my victory. I want to focus on my faith. Lord Jesus, begin to, if it is singing choruses, you begin to sing with it. Sing with it while you are sitting down listening to me. And after you are about to move, it is time to, for prayer, you put it on. So I said to Lord, I want to use this for good two months. It's few weeks now before I release it. Because I want to have the outcome. What are the benefits? I want to see. All the benefits. When you started, when the Lord gave you, what are the things that will happen in your life? I want to know them so that I can talk about it before giving you. With this, you can, you can, you can pray for your sick one. Your, your, your daughter, your children. This anointing water we are talking about, you just say in the name of Jesus, this water, I turn it to the blood of Jesus. Take it. You bless it for people. It's like a God is given us fish, not just to teach us how to catch fish. Not, uh, to, I mean, God is teaching you how to catch fish, not just to give you fish. That is what the Lord is given. So, because I see, after sitting down so much, I, I ask God, what is going on? People, everyone want to wear, wear your rich wash, your this, gold, silver, I mean, every, which is a beautiful thing. Me, I have nothing against that. So we may have some pressure that against it, but me, I have nothing. That is not the issue now. So you must look good, okay? It must look good. But we can use advantage of those gold you are wearing. And let, I mean, use it to glorify God. You have it as a gold, you have it as silver, you have it as, as a diamond. So you can choose anyone you want. There's no need of you. You must go to the altar and pray and singing and crosses. No, because what is going on today? People tired. People getting tired even before you get to even right inside the vehicle. So you have to. You, people don't cook in the evening before sleep. People don't eat. People just eat on the street because the situation today is so tense. I know what is happening around the world. In the past, you want to get home and eat evening food. It's a normal, it's a tradition. There is nothing like that again. So, why lying on the bed, you are right on the altar? You take your pen, you, you begin to count, count, count before you finally slip off and drop it on the bed. You, you, that's all. Take note, if they were dominating your mouth, it will dominate your heart. If they were dominating your heart, it will influence your conduct and your behaviors. Tell your neighbor. Once again, if they were dominating your mouth, it will influence your conduct and behaviors. Take note, 
once again if the word dominating your mouth it will dominate your heart brother at the table please will you help me change it someone at the table i read once again if the word dominating your mouth it will dominate your heart one if the word dominating your heart it will influence your conduct and your behaviors read it again if the word dominating your mouth it will dominate your heart if the word dominating your heart it will influence your conduct and behaviors once again if the word dominating your mouth it will dominate your heart if the word dominating your heart it will influence your conduct and your behaviors so that is why today you see people can preach teach Hey, in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, they preach you. Say, oh, pa, 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 pa. When they now come to, in Jesus' name, be healed, it, you may find it very impossible to heal. But he has the way. When you listen, Jesus is like, from Genesis to Revelation, they can preach the way fine. And they will quote the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But when now come to be healed, be delivered, be free. Limitation. Why? It depends on the medium, the 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 the, 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 the where the word come from. Where the word you are preaching come from. Remember what Paul says in Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 all scripture is given by inspiration all word all scripture is given by word by inspiration it, the scripture is not given by committing it in memo, into, into memory or by memorizes all scripture is given by inspiration inspiration from where from God and God where our heart is the dwelling place where God live God live here You open the book of Romans 9 verse 1. Romans 9 verse 1. Listen to what's saying. I tell you the truth in Christ. I'm not lying. My conscience also bear what? In the world. In the Holy Spirit. That is, our heart is the communication point for the Holy Spirit. This heart is the communication point. And any time we mention heart in the Bible, we mean spirit. That is, this is, we say, faith is of man's heart, mean is of man's spirit. So I want to let's let's quickly hear from one of brother before we, we move forward. Thank you, thank you. Your faith is lifted up. Let us see your hand. For throughout this month and next month, we talk about the words of wisdom. 
those things that when you get home you think about it there are many things i think about it now you go and open your bible you read, 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 read you may not find it but when you look at the experience of apostle you will agree with me that what i say is okay one don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer but christian today if not all we base our faith on our improvement after prayer when we pray and the prayer is no answer we have no faith if i'm talking to you even we pastor we pastor today if i say in the name of jesus and brother is not here the brother will say i have no faith and i too will say he has no faith <laughs> If I'm talking, let us in your heart. The brother will not tell me in my presence, but when he gets home, he said that man's faith is not enough. Why immediately I will say to you here that you have no faith. But you will not talk because you respect me. But when you now get to your room or your somewhere, say that man has no faith. I still have the faith. <laughs> that is it. So don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. Write it as your motto for this year. So Satan will not tempt Satan. This is what Satan you. Satan have no other way. He is waiting for you. A time you will just say in the name of Jesus, or as you are here today you are going to prayer line maybe they are not arranged you or after the prayer maybe you still feel some little little pain you say ah such a bitch. we say even already you have said the man of god does not locate me today i will not worship i will not come to church that is satan's voice say if the man of god does not locate me today it means no the thing does not work for me Mm. Yes, it does not work for me if I don't locate you. You begin to count the number of times you have been here. I was here last week, I was here three weeks, I was here fourth week. Now I'm here again. If the man cannot locate me, it means that the thing does not work for me. Tell your neighbor, don't base your faith on your improvement after prayer. Improvement means the outcome. After saying the name of Jesus Christ. Because prayer of faith can be repeated. You say be healed. You still say you still need to offer the same prayer. Be healed. You still need to say be healed before the person is healed. But you need to know God's opinion. So let's hear from our brother. Thank you, brother. So take note, take note. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Uh, my name is uh, Copra Benjamin Gabriel. Attached to Mopo 22, Lagos, Ikeja here. I want to thank God the way God saved my life through this uh, PMG. That was a TD. Uh, uh, okay, MPG. Uh, MPG. So there's a time they call us for special duty at uh, Ogun State. They, they say we, should, we are leaving Lagos to Ogun State. And because there's a time the robber state, no bank should open again. And uh, the pressure is serious. I know that we're going there is a battlefield. So when I heard that, I was trying to dodge. I was looking for a way to escape. But uh, there's no way I can escape. And I came back to my house. I remember that one of my friends gave me this MPG. I now start thinking. I said, okay, where will I go? There's no place to go. I have to just go. So my, I just remembered I have it. And by the, by the faith I have in it, I opened it. And I, and I took my picture. The picture I snapped. So I've never been here before. But somebody just gave me, and I developed the faith in, in it because I've been hearing that, uh, by, by because I've been hearing about the man of God. I know, eh? 
I've been hearing about the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. So I have the faith and I have the developed the faith in it. I put my picture, and my picture is in the in the there's a place the road that when when some when when you are set when when the son of man set you free, you are free in reality. And I developed the faith and I saw a chain and I said the yoke is broken and I put my picture inside. I put my my my, my picture. I carry everything, put it inside my bag, and I went to go state. So as I did on a special duty, after three months, there's a time towards 3 a.m. in the morning. We are just, after we walk, we say, okay, let's uh, relax a little bit. Before I could know, I before I could open my eyes, I saw arm robbers came and surround all of us. There's no way to go again. The next thing they faced me, they started firing me. I started calling the name of Jesus, the God of Prophet TV Joshua. I was shouting. The bullet was just coming on me. My second died instantly. They fired and he died. Even look at my waist. This is the this is the, the cloth I was I was putting on that day with all my shoes and everything. Look at the boot. All oh, this one is bullet. The bullet here it and I was wearing it. Everywhere is bullet. She, he wore the shoe and the bullet was pieces in the shoe, destroying the shoe, but the leg were not touched. So they keep on firing me. They were firing me. I was calling the name of Jesus, the God of Let, Jesus. Let's say the cloth. Can somebody help there? Go there. Go there and help the brother spread it and let us see. Are you not happy about the testimony? No, it's not every one of us in the house of God for house of God. Look at the bullet. Look at the bullet. The one he wore. The trouser he wore. So they were firing me. I was calling the name of Jesus, the God of TV Joshua. They keep on firing me. The bullet is not entering me. I was calling my, the name of my God and my second is Daddy St. Lee. They now fire me. Your, your second die. My, my second die instantly, but I did not die. Let's see the chair. Let's see the chair. Can you see the t-shirt, the singlet? The one he wore under. Look at the one he wore under. What you're seeing here is the singlet our brother wore the day he was attacked by armed robbers. You can see the see all the teeth and me singlet underneath. This see underneath. This is the bullet underneath. So each time the bullet touched the skin of his body, he stopped. But anything in the body destroyed. Look at look at the underneath. The one he wore. Inside, you know the underneath. Do you see the underneath? That is the one we regard as a pine. You can see this. Look at this pine. These are his underwear, his boxer shorts. You can see the area where the bullet hits, but it did not penetrate into his body. But every clothing he wore, you can see the area where the bullet hits. I know it will be difficult for you because the tea has not worked like that for you. It has been working for you, but not to this extent. You will not see bullet and wait. It, I know 99% here will, will say, mm. no, 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 no. It's difficult for you to accept. But I want to tell you, this one will storm the whole world. this one because what God wants to work on is for you to know his opinion when you wake up in the morning with this you may not want to go out you hear don't go out be, please be in an attitude of prayer Amen. there are some privileges you are entitled to you are supposed to know God's opinion about yourself but today you don't know God's opinion about yourself. You know, supposed to know God's opinion about your pastor. You don't know God's opinion about your pastor. 
God's opinion about others, you don't know. The life you live is so funny. You live without direction. You live without father. Heavily. You just go like this. Once you walk on your faith, your heart, you hold your heart like this, and you begin to hear what the voice from your heart, not from your ear. This is where you hear where. You hear where they've got from here. The voice you hear is from here. This is a voice of Satan. Here. Here. You hear, you say, the, my hair is making noise. You see any voice? Which boy can you hear? Can you hear God here? You don't hear God's voice here. God's voice is in your heart, in the sacred place. But everything you hear, you hear from here. Even some of our minister today, you hear, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm listening. Father, I'm listening. What are you saying, Father? Which kind of Father talk to you here? <laughs> huh? This place is for today language. This one, today language here. How to do business here. <laughs> how to make friends here. How to how to correct children here. This is today language. Who can father talk to you here? So listen to brother. I know it will be difficult for you to hear. Let's see again. Let's see. He can't hold it. He know a testimony. Yes, sir. Z okay. As they are firing me, so they keep on firing. The bullet is not, is not entering me. They now came very close to me. I started firing too. And you get to a, a point in time, I was tired. The bullet, the, my gun could not fire again. And the, the type of gun they carry is a, is a suspected gun, even more than my own. So I, I, but I tried my best. They came and collected my gun. And they went back. They just stand and they said, okay, let's kill him now. They started firing me again. I was calling the name of Jesus again, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, the, the God of Jesus, Joshua. At the time, a power came to my body. I stood up, I started coming to them. They started running back. They started going back. They started running back. And I have to pass one of them. Is, is that not what you want for this year? That is what you want. The grace that can do this, there is nothing impossible for that grace. The grace of God that do this, nothing they cannot do for you. This is what you need. They, they collected my AK-47, I collected their AK-49. From you again, they collect your word. Wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, you yeah. said they collect what? They are collected my AK 47 and I collect their AK 49. <laughs> okay, what your superior said when you showed them this, your superior. When what? I collected the commissioner of police in your, your good state and then my commander, they said they have never seen this before. Say, how did it happen? I think it's God, my God, the God of Jesus. He's the one who with me. 
And they started celebrating, they held the party, they were giving glory to God, they were all dancing, they are all giving glory to God. That's how it happened. Huh? <laughs> tell, tell us again, you collect, they collected what from you? They, they collected my AK for several, I collected their AK for tonight. <laughs> qui a été attaqué par des voleurs armés armés. Il a dit qu'avant cela, qu'il avait reçu justement un serment de l'église, la synagogue église de toute nation. Il a mis sa photo à l'intérieur de ce serment. AK-47, AK-49. Ah, 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 Sticker, MPD, they no. I that all this I want it to from your heart. In case you don't have any one of them, your heart you can command with your mouth. Yeah. That is it. That is for you. This will this will help you to embrace the word of God as the most effective instrument. Amen. If the word dominating your mouth, it will surely dominate your heart. Amen. And if the word dominating your heart, it will influence your conduct and your behavior. So now, the word of God influences his conduct. That is why he will be able to say, Jesus Christ and bring change. With this, many of you will come here with a robber that come to your house to kill you, you collect their gun and you arrest them. Yeah. After arresting them, Take them to police station or you tell police, I want to carry this man to my church. Amen. For testimony, after testimony, I will release the ton. <laughs> because, yes, that is where we are going. If you, are, if you have not reached there, you cannot, you cannot have perpetual peace. You need perpetual war, Please. not occasional one. You hear you say, I'm not what I do, you are here. But you should go with that grace anywhere you go. You sleep, you sleep with that grace. And you should live with that grace. And that grace should be your, I mean, your integral part. So that is it. So thank you. You may be you may be sitter. You may be sitter. We want to congratulate you. Let's hear from the young man. You know he's a young officer. He's happy. Ah, he never himself could not even believe what happened. What has happened? Let, let's hear from him more. And uh, I've never been to this church like this today, but by the blood of the feet of what I've been seeing. And uh, even I'm not born again, but when they, my friend gave me, gave me all this thing with the faith I have, with what I've been hearing, I developed the faith and I can see that God truly set me free through, the, through what I believe and what I put my faith on. So after everything, the robbers, when they fired, my second, the other one died, the other one broke leg, broke the ribs, the other one tumbled and he was in the one, he entered one, uh, one hole, he was there crying for help. Nobody could even help, and the place is dark because we cannot even see ourselves. It's only the gunshot, the firing that we are seeing. So when I collected the IK-49, I started exchanging. If it was there, they say, ah, they have never seen this type of thing before. Even people who have uh, gone to you, but they have never seen this type of man before. I said, the name of Jesus, the Lord of TV Jesus, they started running. They, there was confusion between them. They started running. All of them now scatter. And I would run to defend my second, I would broke leg, and the one that broke, broke the rib, I was there to prevent, to make sure that they did not kill them. That's how I was ready. Then the robber now started running, they left. Later, after they came, the command came and carried us, we left. 
The Roma seed came back to the community from where we are again. That they have never seen this type of power before. That they want to know this man. Where did this man come from? Where did he get this power from? He was calling the name of God, the name of Jesus. Who is it? They want to see me. Then, let me tell them where this power come from. But then uh, there was no opportunity for me to go back there. I give glory to God. And that's why I'm here to testify of his goodness. And I'm alive today. Well, you have listened to the guy. So he will still stay behind you, meet him. I know many of you still want to see him one-on-one. -on -one because what you are saying now, you have never heard it before. Yeah. He will stay, you will meet him one-on-one -on -one to ask him one or two questions yourself for your own personal use, okay? So for your, for, for your faith. So you meet him, you'll be around still waiting behind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Voilà, donc, de ce jeune homme, donc, qui était attaqué par des volants, mais armés, lui et ses collègues. Il a dit qu'auparavant, ses amis lui ont donné un serment de la synagogue des autres nations. Il a mis sa photo entière dans ce serment, mettant sa foi dans le Dieu de Tibi Joshua et en Jésus-Christ. Il a dit lorsqu'il a été attaqué, ils ont commencé à tirer sur ses collègues, sur lui-même. Ils ont vu sur ses vêtements les trous qui se trouvent sur ses vêtements, que les balles pénétraient sur ses vêtements, mais ne rentraient pas dans son corps. Son, son collègue qui était à côté de lui est mort. Un autre a été blessé grièvement. Il a dit que les balles ne pénétraient pas, qu'il s'est même levé et les a confrontés. Et c'est là qu'il a pu récupérer le, leur fusil. AK-49 alors qu'ils avaient récupéré son AK-47. Ils rendent toute la gloire à Dieu de ce que le Dieu de Petit de choix, Jésus-Christ lui-même l'a protégé de, de la mort. Ils rendent toute la gloire à Dieu de cette force qui lui a été donnée et ils croient en Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Continuons avec les plus poderosos testimonios. En ce cas, c'est le pamfleto du prophète Tibi Joshua, llamado MPG. Ce pamfleto, il le portait dans sa maison. Il nous commente à ce jeune soldat militaire, nous démontre en ce moment son ropage lleno de balas. Le testimonio est qu'il a eu un attaque de criminels et de de fuego, où les balas cruzaron en tous lados, mais pour la gloire de Dieu, nunca penetraron su cuerpo. Il nous démontre les botas que trajo ese día, complètement destrozadas, su ropa interior et el uniforme que portait ese día cuando estos criminales llegaron a atacar, él nos comenta que de hecho su compañero falleció instantáneamente, otros fueron seriamente lastimados, pero para la gloria de Dios él recordó que tenía este panfleto que obtuvo por gracia eh, del panfleto de MPG con la fotografía del profeta Tibi Joshua y él empezó a orar en el nombre del profeta Tibi Joshua en contra de estos criminales al grado de él de colectar su, sus pistolas y él entregar las suyas. Cuando llegó con su superior no podía dar crédito de lo que había acontecido, no obstante esto los criminales finalmente llegaron al pueblo donde él estaba diciendo que nunca habían visto un grado así de defensa, que ellos aceptaban a nuestro Señor Jesucristo dejando a un lado el crimen si no se detiene esta sesión, no se detiene ella no se detiene ella no se detiene ella no se detiene ella no se detiene She may start preaching like that, and we may not even know that he's talking, preaching the word. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I want to meet the brother. I've sent a message to him. He has to wait behind. Because I, I, I'm just seeing him for the first time. I want to meet him. So also, really, I, to, I mean, listen to him. Magnify God the more in your heart. So we want to meet you. Let's, let's so meet, meet him. <clears throat> ah. A sister talk in the in the morning here. I was just uh, open my Bible, reading my Bible. I just listened to that. Wow! I I believe I, I, some last week I had an encounter with that sister, and she was telling a message that could be very useful for you, very rich and very 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 useful. I could remember one area he said, they normally use your weakness. An area they know you are not strong. Or they will look at you, where, where? if you don't pray all the time. And they know that uh, you, there's a certain area a time you don't pray. That is when they will enter. They, or, I mean, I think, uh, let, let him just put a little more light to that. So that uh, we take that one home. Just... That's here for two to three minutes. If that's area you know is very important to us, apart from that, the one you measure. Uh, yes, let's hear from. My name is Olipa Dube. I'm 34 years old and I'm from South Africa. I am, I'm standing here to thank God for using Senior Prophet TB Joshua 
from delivering me from the evil spirits that were tormenting me. I was a witch doctor. You can call it herbalist. You can call it traditional healer. Hmm. So as a traditional healer and a herbalist, and a, in our language here we call it babalawo, so, so people patronize you so much, have you? Amen, yes. I, I say people come to you. Yes. You, I mean, okay, you attend to them. Yes, people would come to me for consultation for their problems and I would attend to them. Okay, there is an area, if I could remember, you say you were given a sample of women who want to get married. Uh, there are many you mentioned, I just want to use that as a sample. And uh, so when they want to get married to a man, the, you people attend to them and uh, if they now get involved in that relationship, you say so the charm later fail. And then when the charm later fail, they will come to you people and uh, what they will resort to is to come, go from one witch doctor to another. Can you put more light to that? Yes, the, the effect or the power of charms is not permanent. Mm. If at all they work, mm. you'll find two cases that number one, they will not work at all because of their power or if they do work, their effect is temporary. But when their effect expires, you find that the person gets into deeper problems than they initially had. So now, you, 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 ask, you ask, okay, you say when the, the charm could not work, they will come to you people? Uh -huh. Yes, then the, the client will basically come back and tell you that it worked for a certain period of time, now it cannot work anymore. Then it will mean now, me, myself as a, a service provider, will have to dig deeper and look for even stronger charms. If I don't have stronger charms, then the client will move on to another witch doctor that has probably more power than I do. Well, are, you, are, you, you, are you the one that will introduce them to another powerful witch doctor or they will begin to look on their own? It, it depends. Some wouldn't, wouldn't even come back to you. If your charm is not working, they'll just disappear and go look for another one on their own. Some would come back. If you see that the client is actually serious, persistent, willing to pay, then as myself as a service provider will also be forced to go, you know, for consultation with my other colleagues. Okay, like you now, you have some power, uh, some people that are stronger than you in the job. Yes, in the job, there's always someone who is stronger than you. Thank you for Jesus Christ. You listen to what I say. It's not even limit the whole thing to the association. You say in the whole world, there's always someone stronger than you, wiser than you, cleverer than you, better than you. <laughs> I mean, uh, yes. Now you are talking of um, of uh, if someone come like a lady, like a man who want to get married or a woman want to get married or a man want to get married to a lady or a woman want to get married to a man people will try to help them and uh, the person they want to get married to if the person is a christian you, you people normally look at the uh, their weak point whether they don't pray the more or they, can you put more light to that yes when when the client comes we would do we would throw the bones on the floor to check the life of this person and then now the bones would tell us that this is a person of prayer or a christian and then if it's a christian okay okay your the the charm used to tell you people if the person is a christian if his person is not a christian it's bones okay you listen to that they say even their gods to tell them that the person you want to meet is a christian 
this person is not a Christian. Uh -huh. How do you go if the person is a Christian? If a person is a Christian, then we go further to look into their lives, hmm. any area of weakness. Hmm. It, it, there would be at a certain level, obviously. So we, we look in, in that level that they are, how often do they pray? How often do they get angry? Do they have any last, any weakness that would be last anger, unforgiveness, hatred, pride? Rise off, rise off. Is that not educative? Yes. Eh? Yes. That is why I say stand up and stand up for Jesus. We will be on our stand and let, him, let her talk. Very, very educative. Just write it down. You listen to that? <laughs> it begins to measure all the fruit of the flesh. He say there is one they must, that area. Okay, start from where you started now. It would be anger, pride, boasting. Okay, good, good example. If the person has pride, how do you use the pride? How do you get through the pride? For an example, if the problem is pride, then we're going to create situations that will cause him to be more proud, to talk about himself more, his success, mm. what he could achieve. Mm. In that area of weakness, we, we, we aggravate the area so that you are caught up in it long enough for us to enter and do what we want to do. Glad for Jesus Christ. Mm. You look to that. That if it is pride, they will use that pride and they will enter. So you will now begin to be too much, too arrogant, too proud. That will make you, it's enough to for you, to get you into the net. Hmm. 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 Ahead. Go ahead. And then we would use that. While you're still caught up in that situation of weakness, then we enter and we do what we want to do. Then like, we would like, definitely like get what to what you want to do. In this case, we want to probably break, break up the marriage. Hmm. Yes, we want this man to leave his wife and marry this sister who is my client. Hmm. And you people have succeeded in doing that to many. We have succeeded many times. To many Christians like that. To many Christians like that. You listen to what he's saying now. This is it's just in the world, no one is perfect. Not even one. That is the angle there you see. If if you are not proud, if you are not I mean, look at what this Paul said. They say, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Last meeting, Candle 9, I used the word affliction. Our affliction are meant for our spiritual benefits. And I define it by saying, we are sometimes tempted so that we may learn to pray the more. Now, what you say now is that if that pride is your weakness and your prayer line is still there, the more you are tempted with pride, the more you pray, then they cannot use that. That angle cannot, they cannot use that angle against you. Unless they close your prayer line. If your prayer line is closed, the more you are, you are proud, the more you are destroyed. The more that pride, the more your destruction. But if your prayer line is not closed, the pride, the more that pride comes, the more your prayer. You pray, the more you pray. And when they realize that uh, the weakness, their aim 
the use and the purpose of witness is to overthrow you as a Christian. But instead of overthrowing you, it strengthens you the more. They are lost. Are you with me? Okay. Now, I want to carry this. I want to push this. The more you try to push me, uh, not to push this, the more I push, the more I push, the more I push, the more I pull. You can see the purpose of pushing me out of this place is defeated. So therefore, there's no need of pushing me. So the purpose of Satan, the reason why Satan is then you see that weakness is with their weakness they normally use as a bait. Now, if the more that attack comes, the more you pray. So that is the meaning of our affliction are made for our spiritual benefit. That affliction could be temptation, could be poverty, could be attack, could be this, could be that. But when it comes, it's meant for your spiritual benefit. Right? The, you pray the more, you fast the more, you see the face of God the more. It's, so what he's saying now is, he said, you look at the weakness. If that weakness is that, and your prayer line is there, then it, when this attack comes, you pray the more. They have no right over you. They have no right over you. But when your prayer line is closed, if they can take your prayer line, they take your life. This is why the Bible says simple that nothing can separate me. That is the meaning. Can weakness? No. If your prayer line is there. But if your prayer line is close, weakness can separate you from the love of God. If I'm talking to you. If your weakness, if your prayer line is close, weakness can separate you from the love of God. But if your prayer line is there, nothing can separate you. This is what Paul meant. He said, what can separate me? Can tongue? He said, no. Can weakness can infirmity, can hatred. He said nothing and nothing can separate him because his prayer line was there. But once they close your prayer line, you cannot pray again. You are finished. You are finished. You are finished. We talk more about that. You may be seated. Look at, the, look at the case of Paul. Paul, three times, not one time. Three times means 300 times. Each time means 100 times. It's a summary in the Bible. Three times means 100 times. Each time means 100 times. Three times means 300 times. So me, many times, he run to God. Jesus, God, Jesus, save me. Jesus, heal me. Jesus, bless me. Jesus, rescue me. Many times, many times, many times, 300 times. But the Bible says three times, mean one time, mean 100 times. 300 times. Oh, how many times have you run to God over a, an issue in your life and you give up? And you give up without hearing from God, but you give up. Remember, Paul heard from God, my grace is sufficient for you. Still, still continue, still continue, still continue. What of you that did not hear from God at all? And you give up. Compared to a man who heard from God. My grace is sufficient for you. 
don't worry yourself. Stay. 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 But you never heard from God. But you give up. Can I say the word of sister really help our faith today? Huh? It is. Help our faith. The 300 times. And he never got offended. He never got offended that God did not remove the tongue. They were, my grace is sufficient for you. And he's okay with that. Because he knew whether he's he or no, that will not change the position of God. Whether you as a person enter the kingdom of God or not, that will not change the kingdom of God. God will remain the healer, the deliverer, whether you are healed or not. He knew that. He knew that whether he is he or not, Jesus is the healer. Amen. So why do you bother yourself? So take it again once again. The weakness the sister is talking about. The Bible says no one is perfect. Whatever weakness is yours, your prayer line, since that prayer line is not close, is that weakness is a spiritual benefit to draw you closer to God. To run the more, believe the more, faith enough. Because you have faith, but not enough. But the weakness will make you have faith enough. Look at the woman of issue of blood. So, thank you, thank you. Uh, do you have any area you want to share with us? We have two minutes with you. Yes, another uh, thing that I wanted to share is that consistency was what was actually blocking us most of the time hmm. because we would actually do our attacks uh, at 3, at 6, at 9, at 12, at 3, at 6, at 9, you, at 12. You listen to that. Thank you. Let me put more light to what you are saying. Those of you that believe time, I will fast from morning to 6 p.m. I will fast for morning to 6 p.m. You walk by time, not by spirit, says the Lord. It is time you walk with it is time that control your, your spirit. Like I said, you base your spiritual experience on feeling. Time, they are feeling. Time. Till, when it is 3 o'clock, I will break my fasting. What are if the rituals stop? Why will you know? No. Consistency. A break in faith is a break in God. This will help you. Embrace the word of God as most effective instrument. Listen to that. And there's an issue she mentioned, which I want to repeat again here. He mentioned of, uh, I mean, I mean, spiritual husband or whatever. When he said they used to invoke, have you? Because the Bible used the word invoke, invocation. So, which evoke. Look, when you can only, a, a, a child of God, a Christian, a believer, when they die, you cannot evoke their spirit. They are of God. Any other spirit can be evoked. Yes. You, should, you should not forget that a believer died it's not that it's only what change from one form to another use the word change say change from one form to another that is from material world 
into immaterial words. That is believer. Mean a believer sleep. So from material world to immaterial world. From this world to celestial world. So they will sleep and they will wake up there. Are you with me? So when we sleep, so that is when you say, hey, the man died. A believer, when they sleep, they don't die. When they sleep, by the time they wake up, they find themselves in immaterial world. They open their eyes there. They say, where I am? Yes, I have lived the place. Okay. So that is why today I want you to, to, to take this word from me. It has been my, my belief. Your time always good money to me. Your evening time is my good my money. Your afternoon time is my money. Your night is my money. You can say any time those who are spiritually inclined in the word of God. When their people die, they say good night. Why should you not good greet yourself good night while you are still living? Every time should be good morning. Thank you. Whether afternoon, whether morning, whether night, even your boss, your chairman of the company, somebody you respect, even the president of nature, if you meet him in the evening as a Christian, you say, good morning, sir. Your president will say, no, this is not morning. You say, because I'm a Christian, sir. So later he can call you to come and explain what you mean by good morning. You explain to him that, look, night is used, but you say good night. That is, is gone. There's some obituary, you say good night. They will put it on the post, in, on the newspaper, they say good night. So these are the people that spiritually, they are, they are very high. They understand what it means. Night, they are sleeping. But over there, they wake up. Tell your neighbor, good morning. Good morning. Tell your neighbor, good morning. good morning. From today, good morning. Good morning. Whether night, good morning. Good morning. In this work, whether morning, good morning. good morning. And if you are given occasion, given time to address the war, maybe you are in the occasion where you are given address to stand in the presence of thousands, whether in the night or in the funeral, in everywhere all over the world, just whatever time it is, just say, good morning. <laughs> so, because of, we, we don't need to waste our time. Thank you very much. We have not been wasting our time. I think uh, it's very rich, your message. I want to meet you. I want to meet you. Once I want to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. How old are you? I'm turning 35 in a few days' time. <laughs> oh, thank you. Satan is, is a fool. So he has used you so much. But for the glory of God today, you are here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So much, so much. We have learned that uh, we can evoke a Christian body. When a Christian, a believer died, that you use the word died, it's not died, sleeping. He will wake up over there. He will wake up over there. So that's it. It is those who are not live for God, you can evoke. Because their spirit is, is roaming about. It has nowhere to go. Hey, and all of that. Take note of that. And uh, like I have said, the world, you always greet your colleague, your friend, everybody. Good night. Good afternoon. 
good night. No, as a Christian, read your Bible very well. They are new every morning. So every time should be your good morning. It will be difficult for your people to understand, but you take your time to explain. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Ah, yes, I want to remember our old age, our mama, our aged women and men. We want to wish them Happy New Year. Remember to take care of your age one. Not necessarily your mother. Look for them everywhere. When they are age of 80 years, 70 years, they are our mothers. It's not, it's not only your mother again. If you are now bent to take care of your, only your mother, only yours, I think uh, you have not done well. Your duty now, the, no matter how little you are, you must have at least 3, 80, 90, 100 years, at least. If you have, any, you have limited income, you can still take care of at least 3. 80, 70, 100. You must have them as a record. During the holiday, you have to travel to meet them and give them love. The two you have, you give them. Get them the handset. You can make a call, call them from time to time. Mama, how are you doing? I just want to know how you are doing. I want to pray with you. You call them from time to time to know how they are doing. Visit them, give them a call. It's not necessarily your own mom or your own family. Just look for all over the world. At least three, if you have limited income. If God bless you so much, you should have up to 10. 80, 70, 100 years or above. You have up to 10. If you have so much, you can have up to 50. Give them answer and give them a call from time to time to know how they are doing. From time to time, from your income, little you receive, you should take little out of it and give them because you want to live long. It's a challenge that you must reach their age and you must have enough. You are looking for long life and you are not taking care of those who have long life. I don't know how you can be long. I doubt how you can be long. You are praying for long life, but those who are long life, you are not embrace them. I, I doubt it. Say, I want to have long life, long life. But how many of these people that have long life that are in your book, your record, you are taking care of and you want to live long? If now today, with your limit, limited income, if you can have two, 80, 70, 100, two, and you get them answered, give them, you call them from time to time, and little time you have in the weekend, you travel to meet them, give them something to live with, and ask them to pray with you. I give you, in the months, God will supply more than enough, you can have up to 100 of them. Because just to start from two, those who have limited income, before the end of the month, you have, God will give you so much money that you have up to 10. This is our old age, they are suffering. Economic crisis does not even allow government of your nation, your country to take care of these people. And their benefit, after working for many years, are not paid. Many of them, they did not receive their benefit again. They are living hand to hand, hand to hand. And you that are healthy, young, you can't get a job anywhere. Tell me how these old people can live. So if you want to live long, I'm telling you, and I bet it with you. Start it, just two, with your limited income. Give them, give them, give them a call. Travel, just leave your home and say, my wife, my husband, my children, okay, let's go and greet our old mother, our old mom. They are not your family. You just get there, give them whatever you want to give them and let them pray with you and go back home. All what you are complaining about will become a thing of past. So we want to bless them today. Christmas, we are able to give them some rice 
and some money, but today we want to give them 10,000 10, naira each person and three bags of rice. So for the new year, at least this new year, we should not waste time. At least every month, they must go home with food. If they, those of them that are blessed, they too should bless others. But there are some, how many old people are blessed today? If you gather 50 of them, hardly you will see five of them that are well blessed. The rest, their children are not doing well. And they too are not doing well. So we give them 10,000 bag of 10, bag, 10, naira and the three bag of rice for them to start with but every month it must be in a record that we challenge you we challenge your conscience when you are seeing this happen in your presence you'll be forced to join up go back to your country go back to your community go back to your state and do the, the same thing do the same thing so you know what we we, we this year, we opened this year, September, the law opened to us that uh, this is a year of destiny. We have to go all the way looking for the old people. We have to. We have to. Old people should not suffer. It's not a crime to be old. You call them wish, I call them my mom. You call them wizard, I call them my father. They are my father. If they are wizard, they will have killed me when I was very small. If they could not kill me and I'm still alive, they take care of me. Why should I pay them back by calling them wishes and wizards at this time? Eh? Okay? They, 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 they don't need to have witches and wizards to kill baby. It's a matter of giving them overdose. If you give a little baby overdose, it will die. Eh? Without even witches and wizard spirit. You just do that intentionally. But they care for me, they breastfeeding me. Taking care of me when I, they, I, I spend nine months with them in the, their womb and they take care of me. I can't I be old like this and I say they are witches and wizards. If any one of them are witch or wizard, deliver them. That, is, is, that should be the means of loving them more the more. If you have a mother that have a wish, deliver that to take your mommy, bring your mommy here for deliverance. After the deliverance, you should love that mama more than ever before. Because it's never his wish or will to have wish or wizard spirit. So, thank you. Every month, that is our decision. We, like you know, there is a coastal board that carry them home. We don't want them to suffer. There are many of your ministry today, you don't allow old people to come to your church. Because you can't get money from them. They cannot, they don't work. You can't get tight with from them. They cannot pay tight. They have no job. You take care of them. Many of your ministry, you don't allow them to come to your church. So in some churches today, it's old people going there and young people going. We don't want that segregation. Old people should come, young people should come, and the little baby should come. Let us take care of the old people. Are you, are you with me? We ministers of God, listen to me. Today, when you go all over the world, you see that some ministry, all the members there, they are old. Young people don't go to the ministry where old people go. They segregate, they separate them. Even many ministries today, they don't even allow young old people to come there. Why? We have some buses, coastal buses that carry people to churches. How many? Why should we carry young people to, to come to your church? Why can't you provide it for the old people to come to your church? Why should you, this bus carry young people to the church instead of the old people? So you know you, 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 you worship wherever you are worship. Look around, you see. Tell your pastor it should allow the old people to come so that he can, he, he can take care of these old people. Let us sit down and watch it with them so that we too can be old. That is a sign that you'll be old. When you are saying, Hallelujah, and 100 year old too, say, Hallelujah, that is a complete ministry. There should be a session for all. 
We have to search up for old people here. We have thousands of them inside the church. Search up for them. We take care of them. Because we too want to be old. We appreciate what God is doing in their life for making them old. So let's hear just one or two words from our well, right now you can see on the screen the New Year gift from the ministry and the Emmanuel TV partners of 3 million Naira for the elderly, you may be seated. which is 10,000 Naira per person and the additional gift of 3 bags of rice each per person. You can see some of the rice there and that is the cash gift of 3 million Naira which is going to be divided 10,000 Naira to each of the elderly ones in the church. This is a New Year gift from the Man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, and the Emmanuel TV partners. And you can see some of the elders in the front row there. This is just a few representatives of the elderly group in the church, the Synagogue Church of All Nations. L'homme de Dieu a dit de prendre soin des personnes âgées. Nous voulons leur donner leurs dons pour la nouvelle année. Chaque personne peut partir avec 10 000 naira chacun, avec trois sacs de riz. L'homme de Dieu a dit de prendre soin des personnes âgées avec nous aussi. Nous puissions pouvoir devenir âgés aussi que quelqu'un d'autre puisse prendre soin de nous. A continuación, vemos los representantes de la tercera edad. En este momento va a ser un apoyo económico de 3 millones de naira por 10 000 cada uno de ellos. Esto es por parte de los socios de la televisora Emmanuel TV y del profeta TV Joshua. Praise the Lord. It gives me a, a long privilege, ah. no, to, to Mama, oh, talk with daddy. Mama, you want to kill to us? To talk with daddy is a privilege you are giving unto us tonight. Don't, please don't. And we must do it, sir. A, a, a boy, do you used to do that in your country? We must do it, sir. We must do it. You, you, you do that in UK? No, sir. Ask Mama to sit down. No. Thank you, sir. That for this privilege that you are giving unto us, my name is Desi Okobi. I am 75 years old. One day last year, I came into this church just to visit it and see what is happening and go. I did not come here to be a member. But when I came here, I went up because my daughter is uh, staying up. Because it's a question something. Listen, Mama said you came here one day he did not come here to be a member, but just come to visit. Somebody brought her here, but not to be a member, because he has a place he's washing. Let me see. Very interesting. Okay, sit down. Okay, here. Uh -huh. So when I came in, I listened to the preaching. I saw that the preaching I had, that the preaching, is not just like preaching. It's just like giving people advice although the quotations are from the Bible. But for younger ones, it's just like giving them advice how they will live a good life so that their future can be all right. After we closed that day, I said, ah, this is not just ordinary church. That all the churches I visit, they'll be running up and down telling you how to sow seeds. Sometimes they say, if you sow one million naira, God is going to bless you with 20 million. And you'll be asking yourself, if you have one million, why can't you manage it? And you're going to sow it to get five uh, uh, million. So I see it is not, I can't understand, I can't, I don't even have an adjective to qualify that same preaching. But when I got to my, I sat down as an old woman, I was thinking, I said, what type of word is this? And another thing, I saw that the preaching that he was preaching is about love. And this kind of love is preaching is not that he will preach love and do another thing. That type of love is unconditional love. That when you preach to love somebody, whether you speak the same language, whether the person is a killer or not, you must love that person. Uh, but that love cannot come unless you take all your heart and love God. And when the love you have for God expands, that one will begin to influence other people. From there, you see that you have arrived. So I, I, I thank God after hearing that word because I used to, when they are preaching, I used to jot it. So I said, this type of word, I will not go again. Let me stay so that I can grow more. Even if from here I know that I was not born again. After all the years I spent in all the churches, 
Because somebody will do me something, I say, ah, me? <laughs> you will see. Until I do it bad, you will know that I'm my Desi. But after all this preaching, somebody do me bad. I will say, oh, God forgive me. Oh. Because daddy will tell us how to preach. After preaching, he will tell us how to pray. Because I don't even know how to pray. To be frank, he will tell you, say, tell the Holy Spirit that he will help you to do this. So I started following all those uh, things that he's telling us. Actually, my heart changed. And I say, God, I thank you. So as time goes on again, I saw that uh, there is a place they keep for old people, which I have never seen in other churches, that old people have a special place for them. In fact, in that side, you can see somebody that is 100 years, 95 years, even in that side, you see that I'm a young girl, because 75 is not anything. <laughs> so, so, I, so I said, ah, this is a special place, yo. this daddy is going to live long. This daddy knows how to take care of old people, the people that have lost their husband 36 years ago, and he know that we will pray in for him. Then I said, this daddy will live long. He will live up to 200 years ago. <laughs> then I said that the anointing has not started. God is going to give him more anointing. I said, more anointing will come to him. And God will give uh, more wise men to help him so that he, this our daddy will stay long for us. And at the end, Daddy gave us money, two million naira, for all of, of us. And another day, no, that same day, two, two bags of rice. And today again, I had another thing. I don't know whether my ear is, is hearing the truth or not. This is what I hear now. He said, Abi, 10,000. Abi, uh, uh, some rice, bag of rice. Three bag of rice. If this is true, praise the Lord. Huh? And three million for all of us. I said, Daddy, you will live long. Daddy, you will grow in grace. Daddy, all your members, God will bless them. Daddy, your church has never grown. It's going to grow more. Daddy, as many people that are helping you, they will help you more. There will be more organization. Because this place that is organization is not like other places. So this is the little thing I will say now. As time goes on, I will come and say more. God bless you. Uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is great. In my own case, it's a wonderful thing. I don't know where to start. The first time I came to Lagos, my first time in life, I've not been to Lagos. When my daughter wants to run away and leave me. So I said, ah, where are you going? So we all arrived this place. So that day, it was on Saturday. Okay, my name is Patricia Umbiko. I'm from Abia State. So when we arrived, people were telling us, ah, hey, that they have been here, they can't see man of God. I said, but me, I will see man of God. My age, okay, I will be 70 by March 31st. Huh? So when we arrived, we hung around. They were driving us. I said, ah, they are driving us. So I said, but me, when I get to the SM end of that road, I said, I will not sleep. I said, man of God will see me, because there was nothing, nothing. I don't have anybody. No husband, no helper, nobody. Boko Haram was driving us. They killed my caretaker, Joshua. So when we arrived on Sunday, we entered the church. I, I was looking at everywhere. I said, uh, this type of church. Uh, I said, uh, uh, is it in Nigeria? So that day, man of God came straight to my daughter. 
and said, where are you going to? Exactly what was the problem? He said, where are you going to? Because of hardship. You are leaving your mother. Where are you leaving your mother to? You are not going anywhere. So he, then he then said, where you people are? You people are sleeping on the ground. I said, yes. So they said, when I, they said we should go and carry our things. We went. So we stayed here for almost two weeks. So those people that used to drive me, they gave us a tag. Sometimes I will come out there and say, ah, you know not drive me today. They will be looking. I said, drive me now. They will be laughing. So, man of God, at the end, he gave us anointing water. Gave me half a million. Because I was owing. I have two children. Nobody to help. There's their pictures here. How they were at that time and how I was. And how I were now. So, when he gave us, I said, ah, is it money? God, I've never touched such a man in my life. Oh. I like to say half a million. So I said, God, is that how you are? So all set and done, we left back to our station. So when we left back, my son that time, he was in the, about in the, in the university. But I was only a lot of people, so I don't come out, I used to hide. Only house rent, no food to eat. My daughter, the same thing. So when, when I went back, ah, they have already killed my caretaker. We saw blood. They all, everybody in the compound ran away because there was, we, the money we had, that one of God gets to me, half a million. I was, I was a millionaire. So when I came, I balanced. I said, oh, yeah, I'm not staying in, uh, we're not staying in the north again. So nobody in their compound, people, blood everywhere. They killed that day, 18 again. 18 people that was mourning, they killed them. So we have to run. Back, I carried my children. So we have to come to Lagos. I'm in Lagos now. I said, this church, that's where I will die. I will not go to any other place. And this is my last bus stop. So, that day, my life has changed. Some people that know me, huh, when they see me, my, we, we, because of me, a lot of people have been in this church. When they see me, they say, ah, now you be this. My daughter said, now nah, you nah, nah, be this. They will be looking at me, they will be looking at me like, because this is not how I was. But this church has changed me. And I'm fully in this church. I don't have any other place than this church. I don't have any other son than TV Joshua. He's my all and all. And God will bless him. Bless him. He made me clear, wipe my tears. And in fact, my son that was about dropping out from the school because of no money. When I went, I went like a big woman to their school. He was in, in the university. So I paid for his school fees. In fact, he has been here. He has been here with me. So I paid for their school fees. I paid that people I'm, I'm in fact, I, I, everything. We packed to Lagos. I'm in Lagos now, fully. So only that I have not, but I've been saying I will have the opportunity one day, God, to have the opportunity to speak. So as to say, man of God, because there was a day I saw man of God in the dream. He said, ah, uh -uh, mama. You are here now, you didn't tell me. I, 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 in that dream, so I opened my eye. I started, I, I, said, eh? I started telling my children, I said, I saw man of God. So now I'm here, and I'm here for life. These are the children that man of God helped me, them out. This one has graduated now. He did electrical engineering. By the help of man of, man of God, but, you know, school fees, everything. These are their pictures. They have graduated now, right now. They have finished, they have graduated. He, had, he graduated at, uh, at uh, uh, Bayasa State as an electrical engineering. So that's for the true help of my man of God. And now, the other day, uh, during Christmas Day, ha, they said they, they, they are giving us a bag of rice. And I said, hey, bag of rice. Uh, so I came, they gave us two bags of rice. Uh, how many million? Uh, two million. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, you know, our mom and our dad allowed them to go and rest so that they, like I have said, go and give them the money for the new year. That was Christmas. This is New Year. So give each person 10,000 and three bag of rice. So, please, I want, to, I want to find time to have a, a dinner with them. So that is the time. My the time is, the, is what I'm looking for now. Mm? And it's time we have get together. So, so that uh, they can go and share it, so I will be meeting them. Let him just give you handshakes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mama. So you allow them. You want? Uh huh. Emmanuel. Coordinator. Oh, we come in here now. They buy you. Seventy-five. No, do we? Motu pele wa na uti ni to pele Joshua. Oba oba. Oba to boni le to pele jo. Onta jo ali onta jo ni jo onta jo ni nu. Kosi onti o mishi. Oba yano. Eri to si. Baba mio. Eri mio. Hato ba ya ye le ru ni ya ba oba. Oti ti ato para ti bioke. Hala pala pala bo ye jo ba ba komba. So this mama is in the church. You are not allowed her to join the chorister. <laughs> you to buy a seat for mama. Mama will join you. We have 90, uh, 79 years old, 100 years old. You to look for a seat for them. Mama, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see from mama. <laughs> to go and do for the new year you need occasionally to find yourself in the midst of old age people at least get to them eat with them have a dinner with them and miss with them join their company look your life will not remain the same let me tell you your birthday should be celebrating among these people your what? When you, when you are ready to celebrate your birthday, you should share it to two. One part of your gift, take it to, me, to the midst of these people. Eat with them. Sit with them. Because it's, that is the reason why you are celebrated to live long. And the people that have lived long, you neglect them. And you are now celebrating with your age group. It doesn't have meaning. The purpose of celebration is to live long and live for God. And these people that have achieved this, you neglect them and you are celebrating with your colleague. Share your birthday to two, 50-50. Take the rest and go to the midst of these people. Eat with them, 
celebrate with them and come back to your colleague, your people at home and celebrate. You know they cannot come to the party, they are too old. So you have to do their own separately. If you cannot find them somewhere, we have a group, we have organization all over, which of thousand, three thousand, four thousand, ten thousand old people, just send us email. We, 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 we organize for you. This, can you see? The little time they spend with all the, the atmosphere change. Everybody is laughing because you have them at home. And I know many of you, you continue to remember your own at home. Some of you that are not taking care of your own. You will now remember that, ah, these are the age of my mom, but my mommy is in the backyard. You, you put them in the backyard for one reason and the other. Because you have not been getting job, you have disappointment, you are, you are barrier. You have no stable marriage. Your spiritually say your mom is the cause of your problem. Your spiritually say your father is the cause of your problem. This does it make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. If your mom is the cause of your problem, why can't you take him to the God? Let them pray for her, pray for her, and then deliver her, and love her the more. That should not separate you from the love of. Here they are. The war at large. Celebrate your birthday with them. Half of your gifts, share it, take the rest. Because the purpose of celebration is to live long for, God, for, the, for the glory of God. And you neglect them and you are prayed to live long. You are not celebrate with them, you are celebrating with your colleague. You organize party, you dance, they cannot come to the party. So to discover your destiny, you must also you must celebrate in their age. Appreciate their age. Thank God for their life. It's not a crime to be old. Thank you. Thank you, Momo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if all of us come together, they will not suffer. Even at the time they want to die, even they are about to die, they are, they are we. If people recognize these people, they are we. It will not cause controversy. Because there are lawyers, there are counselors, there are judiciary here in the, all over the world. That when you have a woman like this, that are not your biological mother or father, if their children want to fight over their way, and you're a lawyer, you come to the matter. That is not my mom, but I'm ready to fight for justice concerning this woman. So all this controversy over them, they are more houses, they want to share it, the way they want to share it, there's trouble, some people dupe them and all of that. All this, they are not supposed to suffer this. You should come to their aid. This is the time we should come and rally around and help these people. Many of them, they suffer. They are property, they dupe them. They are property, they are we. At the time they will die, some of them have some stubborn children. Some of them, they are children, they are, they are right off. So if you have them as a mother, you'll be out there to defend them. Their children too will be careful that, hey, my mommy has someone who is taking care. They can't do any, 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 any anyhow. They're celebrating the age of mom. So thank you very much. Thank you, mama. Thank you. As for me, I have thousands of them all over the world. Home ministry partner all over the world. Thank you very much. We are taking care of thousands. We are taking care of. So I'm I'm even looking at my time. One of these days, which I was trying to do, is one of the duty to go out myself and and uh, embrace them, give them a kiss, and hug them and eat with them, because I know the importance of them. You know what it means if someone eats your food last before die as an old woman. You uh, enjoy your blessing before leave the war. Some of us we are particular on our our mommy, our dad. That is not the issue. At this age, we should all rally around to take care of them. Whether they are your mom or your dad. 
So thank you. Wave your hand, rise up, rise up, rise up. And So the time has cut off with us. I will not be able to move. I was thinking of moving around. So in this case, I will not be able to move around. I'm going to emergency right now because of time. I was just saying how to move around because we are still going to share the blessing with the mama, the old people. So please, thank you. So you meet me at the emergency. After emergency, I'm coming back. Okay? So let us see how many, how long I will spend there. So thank you. We was at home, where I'm going to emergency. After finishing with the people at the emergency, I'm coming back. So thank you. But I, for the new year, I think I have to come and, and uh, talk to many of you here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Satan. We are going to see how these persons are going to be in the Seigneur, what the Seigneur has done in their lives at this church, the name of the Prophet Joshua, the name of this church, and we wish a long life to the Prophet. We are blessed today with a total of 10 million dollars each one, which is a total of 3 million dollars and 300 dollars each one. Now, we are going to direct the line of prayer. Stay connected with us, the Seigneur, for the line of prayer. Thank you. 